Manny, just your initial thoughts first and foremost as you guys approach the final homestand of, of the regular season. Excited, you know. Um, come out here, play in front of our fans, play some good baseball, and you know, continue doing that this uh, this last homestand. You, have, you and your teammates have been optimistic till the end about, you know, we're, we're not till it's out, but now that you can see that the end is near, just your thoughts on how this season has gone and what hasn't gone right for this team? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've believed all along and, uh, you know, we're going to continue to do that. You know, I think, uh, you know, we finally have crossed a little hurdle that we've been uh, trying to trying to climb, um, you know, getting getting a uh, winning streak going and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's better late than never. So continue playing, continue to uh, Doing what we can, you know, it's 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 a tough task moving up forward, but uh, you know we're capable of doing it. You know, we've dealt with some adversity all year, so um, you know, just keep uh, keep leaving it on the field to to, to the end. You know, Peter Seiler put a statement out today talking about the health that he's been dealing with. How difficult has it been to know what he has what he's gone through? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we um, you know we have Peter and and, and the Seiler family in our prayers, and you know, we're praying for him for for a speedy recovery and. Um, you know, knowing Peter, uh, you know, personally, I think he's, he's a strong man. He's, he's always positive and, you know, he cares about this team, cares about the city. And, um, you know, for us to, uh, you know, have him in his prayers, uh, you know, while he's going through this and his family, um, you know, keep, keep up the hope. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're wishing him a speedy recovery and, you know, a good homestand to finish off the year. You guys have a very close relationship. I know you toured the, the, the clubhouse in Colorado last season, thinking about what's going to change around here. For you, how, how personally disappointing is it to not, not deliver for this for him this season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, all year, it's it's it's, it's a disappointing year. And, uh, you know, I take, uh, you know, all blame for, uh, you know, not performing to, to, my, to my best abilities. And, you know, honestly, uh, you know, not delivering to Peter, not delivering to this organization, and ultimately not delivering to his fans. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we, we cut ourselves short a little bit this year. Um, there's still hope. We still got, you know, 12 games left to, um, you know, turn that around. And, you know, that's what we're going to try to do here. And, um, you know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, um, a bad situation, but we still got 12 games. You know, UT had a pretty um, detailed piece about about the idea of culture and chemistry in this clubhouse. Is there anything there that you'd want to address from that? Honestly, uh, you know, there's nothing nothing to talk about the story. I don't think there's um, you know uh, you know, any good or bad publicity to keep doing on this on the story. Uh, you know, everyone's always going to have their own opinion. Uh, you know, at the end of the day. Um, we got there and, and played played to the best of our capabilities, and I think at the end of the day, I think that's 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 what it is. I think a lot of a lot of quotes of that story were left out, um, you know. And everyone always has their own narrative that they're trying to persuade, and um, you know, to me, is is my responsibility that I didn't play. And I think the the real point of this is, you know, we, we didn't play good baseball. I didn't play good baseball, and um, you know, we we let a lot of people down in this city, and uh, you know, but there's still 12 games left to 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 make up to it, and. Um, and um, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's, it's it was that. Um, so uh, you know, just continue to play these last 12 games, leave it on the field like we've been all year. I think we're in a good spot right now. Uh, you know, we're playing good, really good baseball. So uh, we just got to continue doing that. Man, you guys are going to set an attendance record this year. What does it mean to you guys that the fans have been so supportive? I mean, I think that's what, that's what for me. I think it hurts the most is uh, you know we we've we've um, you know we let some of these fans down. We let the organization down in a way. Um, you know, where we're, we're or we didn't win the division, which the expectation was was that. So, um, you know, knowing that, you know, they've supported us all year. They've supported us through through the thick and thin, and I know that they're going to keep supporting us no matter what. And you know, that's why we have one of the best fan bases in baseball. And um, you know, we look forward to 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 this homestand, to go out there and win some games in front of them. Um, you know, it's the last one of the year, so um, you know, end, ending it on a high note. Man, obviously, many of the core pieces of this team will stay the same into next season. What do you hope this group as a whole learns from this year, the, the totality of it? I mean, honestly, uh, you know, I mean, I think I haven't even gotten that far. I think, uh, you know, that piece was written at a wrong moment where you really don't really reflect on the season until the season's over. Uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's, um, you know, I can't think of what, what what we can do right now. You know, I think, honestly, we're all going to learn from, from, from this where... We're all baseball players. We learn every single year. We learn and, and we continue to grow. And um, you know, it's going to be a lot of a lot of learning experiences from this year that we're going to take into next year. But you know, to me, I think that's where we sit down in the off season, we reflect on the year, and you look back on on things. So uh, you know, from now, it's just just a matter of you know thinking about these next 12 games and and uh, 
you know, trying, trying to end on a high note. How are you feeling physically right now with the elbow and all that? Yeah, not doing too great. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, as, you, as most of you guys will know, um, I kind of like staying away from the media about my injuries and just play through pain. Um, you know, but I think uh, I think we're we're we're, <laughs> we're kind of past that point, and you know, I've been dealing dealing with the elbow uh, elbow for about you know three three or so months. Actually, if you really want to think about it, it's been two years. Um, you know, I think uh, you know I think it's gotten to a point where I'm gonna go in the direction of having surgery pretty soon here. Um, you know, I think. Uh, you know, it's gotten to that point where you can't take that pain anymore. I think it's 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 taking a hit on 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 my performance, and you know, whenever you can't perform at the highest level, um, you know, it's, it's it's tough, and you put yourself, you put the team in a bad situation. Um, so uh, yeah, we're moving on with uh, you know possibly getting surgery done, and uh, you know, move forward. How hard is that for someone who posts every day like you just to to? come to the admission that you have to have something like that done? Yeah, I mean, I was trying to avoid it as much as I can. Um, you know, it's, it's tough and, you know, we're trying to, you know, look at different different ways where we could try to fix this. You know, we've, we've done shots, we've done therapy, we've done uh, recovery, some rest, uh, you know, and none of those have, have worked and they kind of failed. So next alternative was surgery. We're trying to avoid it as much as we can. But, um, you know, unfortunately, it's just, you know, it's just put us in that situation. And you know what? It's probably going to make me better gonna make us all better and um, you know just uh, you know get it done get ready for next year and come back and be healthy is this something that if you do have the procedure you would you be able to be ready for spring training or I hope so I hope so yeah we've been uh, I think we've been pushing a little bit too long um, but uh, yeah I mean it's 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 probably about a six to seven month recovery and um, you know hopefully that puts me puts me in line to uh, to start the year off next year could that happen before the end of the season Possibly, yeah. Possibly, Possibly, yeah. You expect to play until elimination is official. To play, plan what? To keep playing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, until, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep continue to play until uh, you know we're out. I think we, you know, we finally got four in a row. I think uh, you know that, that, that's a good thing, and uh, you know we got 12 left, and um, you know we, we went out, which we're all capable of doing. Um, you know, we'll we'll see where we do it, but yeah, until until we're out, you know, we're gonna continue doing it, but. Um, you know, at some point, it's 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 how much can I do for this team? And uh, you know, I think surgery is probably one of the routes that I got got to go with. And you know, I hate hate letting my team down late. Heading, you know, don't like um, you know putting myself in this situation. I hate the DL. I hate everything. So uh, you know, it's a tough one. But um, you know, ultimately, is it's it's what's what's best for me and what's best for the team and and, and what's best for moving forward. So yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's a possibility. Did I do it before the season's over or even after? Two years, yeah. It's been it's been going on for two years, so um, you know, I kind of that off, did the recovery stuff, shots, you know, trying to trying to avoid the surgery, and uh, you know, obviously, it's been like three months now that I kind of fired back up, and um, you know, I just wasn't able to, you know, kind of calm it down in, in a way, which in the past it was, but when it gets to a point that you just can't turn off that fire, that the water doesn't. Doesn't 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 do anything to the fire. So uh, you know, I think uh, our staff here did everything they could. Um, you know, they did a tremendous job of keeping me on the field for the last two years, and um, you know, it's a credit to them to uh, you know keeping me on that field every single day. So, um, but yeah, it's 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 a tough situation, and um, you know, but it is what it is.